लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज योर यूट्यूबर स्पीकिंग टुडे इज डे फोर ऑफ माय थर्टी डे माइनक्राफ्ट वीडियो अपलोड चैलेंज दिस इज एपिसोड नंबर फोर एंड आई हैड डिसाइडेड टू अपलोड वन वीडियो एवरी डे फॉर द अपकमिंग थर्टी डेज कंटिन्यूसली सो इन ऑर्डर टू सी हाउ मच डेडिकेटेड आई एम इन अपलोडिंग कॉन्टेंट राइट एंड इन दिस कॉन्टेंट आई विल ट्राई टू अपलोड सेवरल टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इन माई डेली डे टू डे लाइफ राइट एज यू कैन सी आई एम कलेक्टिंग मटेरियल फॉर माई नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग हनी बी फार्म आई वॉन्ट टू मेक सम फार्म सो दैट वी कैन ऑटोमेट द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लेइंग इन माइंड क्राफ्ट अप टू अ लार्जर एक्सटेंट वी कैन डू सम अदर फन एक्सप्लोरिंग एक्टिविटीज इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट कीपिंग ऑन लाइक डिगिंग डर्ट एंड कलेक्टिंग आयरन एंड गेटिंग आयरन माइनिंग दिस एंड दैट सो आई हैव मेड आयरन फार्म एंड द नेक्स्ट फार्म इज माई हनी बी फार्म सो आई एम गेटिंग मटेरियल फॉर दैट एज यू कैन सी आई हैव टू गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हनी बॉटल्स मैन सी आई थिंक दैट इज सेंड is so much scarce in this world man i mean i have literally wandered kilometers of kilometers like hundreds of kilometers it not like hundred of kilometer but uh, several kilometers in search of sand and i could barely find a particular place for finding a you know decent supply of sand so yeah let's let's begin this current episode of my <laughs> minecraft let's play gameplay and i wanted to discuss a lot of several things in my life which are going currently in your life and maybe perhaps we can resonate on something some similar topic so yeah this is one today i today i wake up like uh, today i woke up at 6 am yeah yeah 6 am in the morning and i think it's kind of okay right see if you have a better sleep if you go to bed properly and you wake up from the sleep properly you will feel a strange kind of happiness like you will feel happy and kind of content if you wake up properly regularly every time and that's what happened actually yesterday yesterday in the afternoon i realized that i have been playing with my health a lot like i am not focusing upon my sleep pattern you you know we humans we have a circadian rhythm which means that we have a internal biological clock which tells us that at particular interval of time we need to sleep we need to eat and all that there are several experiments done by pavol you might you can see it in the you know google and which basically suggests that uh, our actions our uh, requirements can be habituated to a particular time or to a particular external stimulus so yeah that's it so i woke up in the morning and i used my used to do my usual stuff and recently i have been watching that i am getting so many insects in my room man like there are so many insects there is one hornet one even gecko <laughs> you might you might call that two three cockroaches every kind of flora and fauna is <laughs> found in my in my living quarter and when it's kind of freaking me out it's it's not that much uh, like uh, it's that it's not that much repulsive but it still it's a kind of you know a scary like waking up next to a cockroach sit, sitting behind you <laughs> sitting beside you and you will feel like kind of scared and uh, you know shocked so yeah that was my day and i you know usually don't run in the morning don't go for running in the morning but today i ran for about like uh, you might say like a uh, one and a half kilometers I ran for about one kilometers, one and a half kilometers, and man, it feels so much freaking refreshing. Once you go for running, at least for even for a you know couple of minutes, then you will be feeling refreshed throughout the whole day. And today I am recording this audio in the evening, and still I am feeling so much fresh. So I think that you should go to walk every day uh, or work out every day. I mean, it's your body, man. They say the body is your temple and <laughs> or church, whatever, <laughs> depending upon. your religion so you should kind of uh, give it a little bit of care handle it with care i mean no matter how rich are you or how powerful are you or whatever you are if your body gives up your uh, companion then man you are bound to falter you are bound to fail so i think you must care for your body you must care for your hygiene and all that and these are the things which are above that and one thing i have observed that uh, our brain our brain is kind of lethargic man our body wants rest and our mind wants like dopamine and uh, just relaxation and pleasure and all that but these kind of paths don't always you know make you succeed in your life and success is kind of important i mean 
look at you just look at you you will be judged by your value your uh, whatever you bring in onto the table in the society so i think that uh, success is kind of important and don't bother that i don't care what other people say what other people are going to do to me i don't care it's my life my choice yeah it's your life it's your choice and i think that it's 100% correct there is no denying to it but but do you know do you think that your life is bound to be pathetic i mean suppose you are not taking care of your health you are not focusing on your health or hygiene and you are getting obese day by day so do you think that uh, the notion that my life my rule or my choice is that uh, kind of okay to implement here do you think that because i don't think that i think that a person especially uh, i think since i am a man i will be speaking for men it will be a same for a man to die without seeing its body's full potential a, bo- a a man's body should at least be at least once be at its full potential in its lifetime there was someone uh, some great philosopher who said something like that i am just uh, like uh, re- rephrasing his words so that you can understand so i think that one should really focus on his health and really focus on your personal hygiene man because these are all the things they are left and you know i think that uh, if you are healthy your mind would automatically be healthy you will be thinking constructively like if you are diseased if you are addicted or and all that so i don't think that you will be like a contented mind like if you are ill then you are mentally uncomfortable all right so overall i think that health is one of the most important factors in our life of course health is followed by hygiene and all that so yeah so i went for jogging today it's what it was in jogging it was like a high intensity interval workout it was hiit so i am feeling kind of fresh kind of nice but although although i am so much a starving man i was i am starving like hell i am so much hungry that i will even eat <laughs> anything no it's not like that uh, by the way do you think that one should follow a vegetarian path or non vegetarian path for the planet like i mean i know that it's your personal choice that you were that you should be eating veg or non veg it, it's your own of own opinion i am certain of that but do you think that what whatever i mean do vegans or non vegetarians do a favor to the planet by eating the particular food of their own choice like i think that if if one if someone says that i am not eating plants i am eating uh, bacon or beef or chicken so i am not disturbing the climate i think it's wrong because i i have heard it somewhere that even a single ounce of meat requires a lot of environmental sacrifice to produce that so i think that non vegetarian food is not that much great for the climate or the planet on the other hand you are literally eating plants like plants which could have been out there synthesizing oxygen by doing photosynthesis from chlorophyll and you are literally eating those plants so that's not true that's not good for the planet either so i i would leave it in the discussion i would leave the discussion in the hands of those who are professional in such kind of discussions but i think that you should eat whatever you need do not waste your food man wastage of food is kind of criminal <laughs> to me i mean there are kids starving in africa <laughs> you know that right there are kids starving in africa and all that so yeah do not waste your food man do not waste your food preserve it and take only the amount of food which you really need do not uh, like uh, put up full up your bowl and just throw it away man you don't know the food which has come to your bowl or your plate has traveled a long long distance to come to your plate man somewhere the rice was grown somewhere the spices were grown somewhere the cow was grown oh my oh my god i just cannot elaborate it so much nicely but you can think it right so yeah always respect the food which you have got i mean these are the literal gods of your day to day life the god i think which i see and which is the most practical of all is the sun is water is air is earth and i think that preserving them is the best form of worship you can do to to the gods 
सो आई मीन यू हैवन सीन जीसस क्राइस्ट यू हैवन सीन अल्लाह यू हैवन सीन लाइक हिंदू गॉड्स एंड ऑल दैट आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू हैव सीन दैट बट आई थिंक दैट यू हैव ड्रेंक वाटर यू हैव ब्रीथ इन इन द ऑक्सीजन यू हैव यू हैव गॉट बेनिफिट फ्राम सन आई मीन सन इज द अल्टीमेट सोर्स ऑफ ऑल एनर्जी सो फॉर मी द मोस्ट प्रैक्टिकल फॉर्म ऑफ गॉड इज द सन एंड द वाटर द अर्थ एंड योर पेरेंट्स ऑफ कोर्स योर पेरेंट्स ब्रॉट यू इन द इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो यू शुड बी काइंड ऑफ ग्रेटफुल एंड थैंकफुल टू दिम दीज आर आई मीन दीज आर जस्ट इंडियन थाट्स एंड ऑल दैट इफ यू कैन इफ यू कैन जस्ट प्रोट्रेट इफ यू जस्ट If you can just पिक्चराइज इट इन योर माइंड आई थिंक दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू सो रिस्पेक्ट द थिंग्स विच आर यू नो बेनिफिशियल टू योर लाइफ रिस्पेक्ट द प्लान एट एंड इट इट डिजन टेक टू मच एफर्ट टू डू दैट लाइक यू आर नो बडी इज आस्किंग यू टू क्लीन द फोल फ्रिकिंग ओशियन राइट यू जस्ट हैव टू कीप ऑन लाइक फोकसिंग ऑन योर स्टप्स एंड ऑल दैट एंड जस्ट साइंड एंड जस्ट take care of the environment side by side so yeah i think that we have reached the 10 minute mark <laughs> 10 minute mark is reached <laughs> by me and i just wanted to share a small glimpse of my life how i woke up and i went for a sprint quick sprint and i came back refreshed i took a bath and all that as business as usual i just wanted to upload content and just wanted to preach a little a few words or two so yeah thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching my videos i am kind currently getting some stuffs for my honey bee farm so i will update you in the next lecture so yeah thank you and bye see you